Muslims think about love and people talk about God's love and they'll talk about unconditional love and Unconditional love is very simple. Love your neighbor as yourself. And love your freedom, love theirs. Love your rights, love theirs. And that kind of love, that's, you know, like, uh, respect them, expect them, <laughs> expect to be free. Uh, you know, desire it, you know, wish that. Wish it for yourself, wish it for others. And that kind of love is something that is unconditional. And the only condition is to be a human being. You know, then there's differences in, you know, what people might say that means and some people have a hard time distinguishing between, you know, respecting somebody's rights and at the same time uh, maybe being disgusted with their behavior or something. And, you know, that's, uh, does doesn't mean you have to like what somebody's doing or how they are. Uh, and, you know, then it's a matter of understanding what a trespass is and not to trespass against each other. <clears throat> you know, love, like, you know, especially uh, a husband and a wife or a wife and a husband and their kind of love, uh, I would say that's very conditional. You know, it should be. <laughs> it should be like, oh, you know, I thought you had unconditional love for me, you know. Uh, no, it's conditional. And, you know, those are choices that we make, people we choose to love and for the reasons why we love and you know what kind of love that you show your children you know it, it is conditional <laughs> it is upon what <laughs> well, you know it's you can't just go around praising your kid for no reason or something and you know uh, there needs to be some accomplishment the child makes something they do that you respond to no it's all great it's wonderful it's good but the the unconditional love which sounds like such a greater love ooh this is like a really you know you must really love somebody to have unconditional love for them and I'm saying no that's not what it is at all you don't even have to like the person but respect their rights their liberties and yours as well and 
that would be the unconditional love. And, you know, then of course there are conditions, I mean, you know, how can you respect somebody's freedom when they don't respect their own? And there's all that. But we've been pretty fundamentally flawed. We need to get back to each individual's understanding of this uh, personal rights that they have and who they are and human beings and sovereignty you know we've been kind of living this not obtaining the sovereignty almost like well people aren't they're not worthy uh, you know like well that's it's conditional and they have to live up uh, there is something to discuss but it won't be discussed unless you're pursuing the sovereignty and recognizing the sovereignty and then you'll see where it's fallen short in people's lives and work things out. But you gotta recognize the sovereignty first. And that hasn't been happening. We haven't been really, you know, there's been a pretty good common decency and stuff going on. In general, respect for each other. Oh. But not really with the recognition of our rights and it's more than rights it's like orders these are orders it's how God made us it is the order and so I've gone on about the sovereignty You know, seeing it myself end up being so clear even before I really even realized what it was. And, you know, I recall openly being on a pursuit of personal sovereignty when when I saw how much the world had programmed me to be a part of it all and being manipulated by it seemed like everyone and everything and you know it wasn't really like oh I woke up someday no you know, my life crashed. <laughs> it was crashed. It was over. And, you know, that, that was when, you know, they say, like, when you got uh, nothing to lose, you know, uh, well, that's when you got nothing. And, uh, but people don't have to lose it all and everything that understanding these are basic things it's just the programming of this world what it's done it's all shattering now it's breaking up understanding's coming out You know, I've been, even on, I've been pretty calm and stuff on my videos and all this stuff is so intense to me. It's 
it's hard right now because right now I almost feel crazier than I ever felt in my life because the stand I'm taking is I'm saying all the criminal and evil stuff is over they're busted we're gonna be able to do things the way God intended for us hopefully before Jesus comes so hey, he can at least come to a bride that he's pleased with not one who's in distress we need to be rescued out of somebody came and took over his or hers home and have to go vacate it and do a bunch of destruction no man I need the victory but everybody's being promised a antichrist you know an apocalypse oh, sounds awful you know I'm, apocalypse just means a revelation a revealing an unveiling a uncovering an exposing what could be exposed but what's been hidden sooner that we believe in tomorrow being connected to today and that we're on our way we have opportunity and believe in humanity you know we can begin to regain trust but it won't it shouldn't have to be so much in individuals it has to be in principles that connect us together like the sovereignty like the understanding about the money and the weed also there will be no excuse to ignore them someday or to be ignorant about those things someday you know there's a reason why we been ignorant about it all along it's not the people's fault it's not our fault and I don't even know whose fault it is when it comes right down to it the, the fault is the fundamental flaw in the whole teaching of everything that all these people studied Manly P. Hall and all them too you know they could understand so much of it but the the geometry wasn't there and, and same with the sovereignty as soon as you hand the sovereignty over to the the state or then the federal federal government or then <laughs> the banks any they were never supposed to be have any kind of supremacy over the people and in all practical ways that's what they've had right along like supreme authority and uh, train a police officer with a gun to shoot to kill you if they have to 
I take that real personal. So, you know, most people don't really think about that much, but I see it that way. I have a suspended driver's license right now just so I'll, I won't drive and just so that they don't spring another unexpected suspension on my driver's license, which has happened many times. I just quit driving. I still got plates and insurance on two vehicles. One of them ain't even running. I needs to be repaired and I haven't even repaired it. Keep paying my plates and insurance because the state of Michigan owes me for all that. They've impeded upon my progress so bad. But I'll be happy stand last in line. They owe a lot of people. You may think I'm crazy for, you know, hey, I could have been driving all this time. I'm telling you, got so hot, I'd probably be dead. It's not like they sick all the cops after you. All they need is one in there who's willing to do the job. None of the other cops have to know anything about it. I've seen it happening. You know, when I saw they kept wanting to take my driver's license and people would say, oh, they're do just doing that for the money. And it's like, oh, no, but they're, you know, make the best of every opportunity. That's just more incentive. But to actually put a hit on somebody. Which, oh, why am I so important? I don't think, you know. I don't know, why do you think? Because I'm just some stupid idiot that doesn't understand his world, what's going on. And I'm just going to carelessly knock down their world. You know, I'm the kind of person that figures things out, sees what's happening. And the thing is that I'm not a Satan. I'm not an accuser. I'm not looking for those things. You know, there's <laughs> you know, I've actually protected cops that I could have busted them, but they were working for somebody else. Why should I ruin their careers? Because I got the dirt on them. And they were actually being used and they got had families it's been crazy my hands are clean man you ain't got no dirt on me they owe me they owe a lot of people it's not excusable. And you know how they play things? You know, I've mentioned abolition, growing up. You know, they abolished slavery, right?
but they didn't end slavery, the whole thing, right under our nose. They kept slavery legal. They, they never said, oh, it was wrong the way that slaves were, have been treated all this time. They end up justifying all that. It's emancipation. They just said, oh, you know, well, you used to be able to own people, but you can't own them no more. And they justified all that time that they bought and sold human beings, mistreated them. You know, I didn't feel that it went far enough. You should have made it and cry. Said no. We should have known better. There's no excuse for that. Well, this time around, guess what? There's no excuse for the crimes. There is no justifying. And there is no emancipation for these slaves this time because you never admitted to owning anybody. That's part of the whole crime. The whole treason through the secret societies. Oh, how unfortunate for them. Oh, poor, poor Masons. You guys were even betraying each other and their brotherhood by having that goddamn pyramid structure degrees. Compartmentalizing things on a need to know basis, all that. It was stupid, man. But it wasn't as stupid as not putting the people first. That's what the problem was. You could have got away with everything. You did. And some of you probably been righteous right through the whole thing. Got honor coming your way. But not the organization overall. It's a crime. You like that? Just like the witch covens and stuff with, you know, sneaking around at nighttime, trespassing on people's lands, doing their mischief. Sneaky coyotes. Huh? It's all bullshit trespassing, criminal, violating of people's lives, goddamn artificial divine intervention bullshit and stuff too. Oh, how it worked out just perfectly. Yeah, I needed a job and oh, I didn't know what to do and next thing I know, you wait till you see somebody vulnerable. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because I'm talking on a YouTube video like I'm, you know, talking to the Supreme Council of fucking fucks. 
and you know when I'm talking to them I'm talking to them you know, right? I don't care who watches I don't know who'll see things at least just see how I feel about it and how I, you know what they have to look forward to if they only come talk to me I ain't bending no knee for them They're the ones who didn't have the unconditional love. They're bigots. They're better. Huh? They're on the inside. The real world. Oh, the real world. The unfucking real, real world. You can have all the credit you want for it. Oh, you're a part of it, huh? Not the the real world, not God's creation, huh? Poor suckers losing out on all the real down-to-earth stuff. I even feel bad for you. But, uh, well, I hope people find that it interesting conversation about love <laughs> you know and remember fuck is only a fuck because it's without love somebody involved there in your life in any way have anything to do any choice they're making that gonna influence you have influence on your life. They should respect your sovereignty, your rights. They should protect them even. There's no excuse. A crime isn't a crime because it was some law written down on a piece of paper. It's understanding. You, know, you want damages to be proven hmm? you know, and start being accountable for millions of premature death because after all the real world was all yours big brother huh it's all yours you get full credit and full responsibility for the real world, huh? The secret one. One you had to be in the club to know about. You know, if you haven't caught on yet, you better unconditionally love the people. All of them. That's my word to Big Brother. That's my word to the criminals out there. Treason. You're a treason. people that had integrity who tried to stand up, try to say stuff. I know because I did many times. I never did stop. That's where I'm still here today. Thankfully I didn't get killed along the way. Well, my life sure got ruined enough times. Talk about being born again. You guys gave me Quite a few opportunities at that. I'm sure there's a lot of other people went through the same things as me. Know exactly what I'm talking about. When it's over, everything's going to be exposed. It is being exposed right now. Right now.
now it's not going to slow down it's not going to be like you're not going to get away with some further distraction you're not going to be able to set a nuke off in the golf done it's over God loves his creation he loves his people he forgives us for being ignorant but there's still a requirement and we get an opportunity right now so repentance is due people that are full of understanding and willing to help and everything <clears throat> have a lot of ideas but I need to know something before I go and fix my driver's license and trust all that it ain't over I still consider myself free I'll still do what I want to do but I certainly limit my choices lately I'm not looking for any good times there can be no big blowout big blowout is going to be the disappointment of being exposed rather than being able to take it on to the next higher ridiculous bunch of nonsense new world order the order is our rights the order is freedom and the truth about money and the absolute planning and cultivating of the cannabis that should be encouraged there's people who have been preparing seeds I believe in that I heard somebody was trying to get a pound of seeds up for every person on earth. That'd be great, man. Make all the difference. I had a lot of hopes that we were going to plant this year. That it was going to happen. I still would like to see it be legal. I, it's probably too late to plant a crop unless we have some bizarre Indian summer could happen I guess weird summer but, uh, <clears throat> unconditional love what is it uh, I mean yeah you, you, you can't help you know loving a little baby you got unconditional love you know and you rock them and you know But it, you know, that's because they're they're babies. But you know, we're sovereigns. That's the unconditional love. Is recognizing each other's sovereignty, and that is loving our neighbor as ourself. And it's that simple. And it is that that God requires. And it is that that is a fulfillment. of the law of what God requires of us I mean how, how easy is that we don't need like a million and a half documents like the 
esoteric Gnostics and stuff have. And we don't even need the hundreds of pages of the the Bible to understand and recognize each other's sovereignty. But that is what human beings are. That's how we are. That's how it works out best when we're free people. When we work together at our, our own will and according to our own desires. You know, we're subject to a big old artificial scarcity world. I better cut her out. I'm going to go back down in the valley again. You know. When, uh, uh, just mount up, <laughs> you know, in our sovereignty. You know, I got it. It's simple. It's simple. It's your rights. It's my rights. It's our rights. Declaration of Independence. Life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. And we got to believe in this. We, get, you know, it's a lot more real. And it's a lot more important. And it's time. Now we have the opportunity. Because everything's being exposed. And if you don't believe it, just keep watching. Because it doesn't matter. Even I think on the mainstream, you're seeing it even though the story's coming out lame and iffy and stuff but uh it's being exposed right now we're gonna have opportunity this is why i think i'm so crazy because it goes against all of the prophetic doctrine of the religious You know, I don't. I believe we're coming out of the tribulation. We're not going into it. And I believe that. You know, it's time to prepare for His coming. That's that's what I think. I think we have a, a short time to clean some things up here on this planet. To set some prisoners free. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, we want to get get caught with our pants down. That's what's going to happen. Peace, y'all. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your freedom. Be responsible. You can do it. I believe in you. I do believe in you. Even though all the big brother and stuff that I've been talking about. Otherwise I wouldn't even be talking. Be cursing you down somewhere. Peace.